Want one? So, do you know how these are made? Many years ago, there was a baker named Emil Richterich. This guy worked so hard every day that he had to take herbal baths every night to relax. One day, he had this incredible idea. What idea? Well, herbs. Herbs? Mm-hmm. Here, like, like this one, for example. Mmm. This is sage for sore throats. But I don't have a sore throat. In winter, you sure could. <laughs> so how do they make Ricola? I'm not sure I should tell you. Please. Well, okay. But it has to be just our secret. I promise. The Ricola farmers plant each little shoot with great care. plants are fully grown, ah! a monster comes and eats them all up, and then spits the herbs back out. And when the monster has finished eating, it goes and hides the herbs. Why does it hide the herbs? Because otherwise, the bears will eat them. But bears don't eat herbs. Well, with recall herbs, they do. get in here. Okay, Ricola has a secret room, right? And then there's these men in white coats who work there. And you know what? Those poor guys can never go home. Because if they did, they might give away the secret recipe. Oh no. Now. Are you ready for the biggest secret of all? In Ricola land, there's this gigantic snake. The workers grab it, and then they fight with it, <laughs> and then they feed it into this huge machine, <laughs> where it comes out on the other end, thinner, but far more dangerous than ever before. And just to make sure it can't bite anyone ever again, they hack it <laughs> into a thousand pieces. Finally, each Ricola is wrapped in its own little coat to keep it nice and warm for its trip around the world. Do they all go on a trip? Most of them do. About nine out of ten. Do you know why they travel so far? Because everybody likes them? Look, this is Switzerland, right here. Starting from here, Ricola travels to Hong Kong. To America. Or to Canada. <laughs> and wherever they go, people sing, Ricola!
You want one? Do you know how these are made? 